What's up, everybody? Welcome back. <sighs> Got the locks chopped about an hour ago. Now I'm in a saddle. So, uh, we're here for possibly pigs and we're possibly all dead. There was some all dead that showed up on camera a few days ago. They didn't come here at all yesterday. Uh, so, there's no telling what's going to come in, but we wanted to come saddle hunt before uh, deer season open. I just got back from an elk hunt, and it uh, feels good to be back in a tree. So, uh, got in here early. We're going to see what happens, see what comes in, and hopefully put something down with the boat tag. But uh, y'all stay tuned and enjoy. Spooked off, but we're in a new 
focus pod today. Uh, we're at my aunt and uncle's place. Uh, we don't have a feeder. We're sitting out. We literally just got on a on a game trail, threw some corn out, and saddled in the tree. So uh, got in here kind of late. We we're loud. Rode the e-bikes in. So this is more of a. We put some trail cameras out. So this is more of just a scouting mission. But if a doe walks out. Jamie needs a freezer queen, so we're going to put a doe in his freezer for him, um, if we get a shot at one. Got a swirling wind. Sounds like something's behind us, but uh, I'll stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Got the boat deck locked and loaded. What's up guys? It has been uh, so far two hunts in the saddle that haven't gone to plan. Um, first it was the odd dad, then we went to my aunt's and uh, got busted by four does. Now we're in South Texas and uh, sitting in the saddle again and we have full rain to kind of do what we want here. So found one of the only oak trees on this place got in the saddle got a feeder at 20 yards and i have no clue what's out here they don't run any trail cameras they don't really manage it at all um so we're just gonna sit and see try to put some meat in the freezer not hunting trophies by any means uh if a mature buck walks out i'll probably take it and if a mature doe walks out i'm probably gonna take it as well so uh this is the setup Got my Tethered Nation Kafaru, got the Bowtech, and I got the Tricer. How many have you seen self-filming in a tree with a Tricer tripod? Nobody's probably done this, but it's working until it doesn't work, I guess. So let's hope it doesn't fall. I think I got it pretty secured, but... We're in here like two hours early, or I'm in here like two hours early, so I'm just gonna sit and hang out and let everything calm down. And uh, hopefully come, something comes in, and hopefully this wind stays good. So y'all stay tuned. I don't know how the footage is gonna turn out, but we're gonna try our best to get y'all some good uh, footage, hopefully a good kill shot. We'll see what happens.
and then them eat for about 40 minutes. Finally, we got enough caramelized. some time still still early so a buck could come in I'm gonna knock another arrow and just be waiting and see what happens meat for the freezer all right guys just pulled everything got out of the tree let's go over here and see if we can find my arrow as a clean pass through uh, I replayed the footage quite a bit she ducked real hard, but I think it's, I think it's a fatal shot for sure. And I think I heard her crash over there, but, um, this arrow, there's no telling where it went. Probably bounced and shot into these trees. So see if we can find this arrow first. Well, I haven't been able to find the arrow, but I did get on blood. So this stuff is so thick. I'm try to track her through here and see if I can find her. Well, guys, I had to call him my old bear tracker hunter, and uh, I don't know what happened. It took a long time to really find decent blood. We never had decent blood. No, nope. but we did track her. She went probably 200, 200 yards. Let's see where I hit her at. Uh. Wow. It's an hour and a half. What? Can you believe that? That's nuts. Guys, an hour and a half in South Texas. And the coyotes already destroyed her. That's a bummer. Let's see where I hit her. Guys, I mean, not perfect. It could be down about two more inches and up two more inches, but definitely hit her lungs. That really stinks. That's uh, that's the nature of the beast down here, though, in South Texas. That is wild. Literally, what time is it? An hour and a half, and the coyotes already found them. When Hunter was driving in, he said, there was a coyote right over there, and it was headed the way that we were, uh, the way we were tracking her, and sure enough, wow, that's crazy. I hate to see it. I hate, I hate that I didn't get to eat the dough, but it didn't go to waste. Um, obviously not gonna, uh, take any of the front shoulders or anything, just because the coyotes carry bacteria and stuff, and They've already dug out the whole rib cage, all the guts and organs and all that stuff. So I don't know what to do in this situation. Right Guys, now. that is uh, how my deer season has started so far. Hasn't been uh, the most success, and I just couldn't believe that this coyote, it was probably more than one coyote, got to this doe within an hour and a half of me shooting it. Uh, I knew it wasn't the absolute best shot, but I did hear a crash, so I gave her 30 40 minutes and then it took 30 40 minutes to uh track her down but within that time frame the coyotes found her and absolutely destroyed her uh i tried to blur it out i don't normally do that but youtube would demonetize it if i were to show what actually was there so the coyotes basically ate all the guts out and then the two hams on both insides were all gone um so within i would say probably i mean they didn't they didn't find her within 30 minutes, I wouldn't think of me shooting her. So within probably a 30 minute time frame, they ate half of this dough uh, before I got to her. So couldn't believe it. My cat is in the shop right now trying to catch a bird that flew in. Anyway, uh, we got to change this around. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of hunting in the next couple weeks. So I'm actually going to sit in the saddle this evening uh, I'm after a big buck at the ranch. So 
Y'all stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it wasn't a, a crazy exciting video, but I just want to show y'all what's going on. And there's a lot more hunting videos to come. So y'all stay tuned. Enjoy. Hit that subscribe button. Hit thumbs up. And remember, eat good.